Hey everyone, welcome back to Addie P's Real Estate Tea, where today we're going to talk February 2024 housing market report stats. Now before I get into the video, as I always so graciously ask, and you all so graciously oblige, please hit that thumbs up button, it really helps me out. Also, please consider subscribing. I do my pe my best, excuse me, to post here every week. Um, some weeks it's bi-weekly. Um, I try. <laughs> right. And also, when you do subscribe, please hit that bell notification to be notified of future videos on the channel. And you already know, if you follow your girl over on Instagram, don't forget to drop me a heart and show me some love. <laughs> now, February is looking great, and it is definitely a precursor to what we anticipate on seeing for the rest of the year, which is um, slightly elevated inventory rates, although not nearly as high as what we need. In fact, there was a recent article that came out that stated that we are short by 7.2 million homes. Wow. So um, don't know how that's going to be made up and how that's going to be compensated. Uh, builders can only build so much. Uh, and the group of folks that are were anticipated to move which would be uh, the boomer crowd, the baby boomer crowd. Um, they, uh, some of them are choosing to age out in their homes and stay. Um, sometimes that's coupled with uh, the fact of expenses, interest rates and so forth, various reasons. But needless to say, we, um, we are definitely faced with a housing shortage crisis, um, which then spurs demand to be high, supply being low, housing prices raising. Uh, and that's causing housing affordability to really be crunched. Um, in fact, there was another article on top of that article that I read um, that came out a day ago, basically stating that um, in comparison to 2020, you need 80% more in income in order to be able to afford a home. Wow. Uh, so housing affordability is really taking a hammering, even more so than what it has been. Now on the south side, hey, you don't, you're, you're in a, a sweet position. As long as you do all the things that you need to do um, as a seller, uh, as far as pricing accordingly and so forth, you will more than likely get more than what you anticipated on getting uh, for your home. So uh, on the south side, things are great. Buyer streets are a little rough right now, um, but the good thing is with these uh, interest rate cuts, that are being uh, talked about so much over the past week, week and a half, more so than anything, um, we will see a little bit of, uh, of easing and buyers returning back to the market to purchase. So I really hope, especially for those that have been waiting for, you know, over a year to, to find a home, that this is their opportunity to do so. That also helps sellers um, who may be on the fence, who maybe didn't want to move because of, um, you know, elevated interest rates. Uh, now that the rates are coming down a little bit and expected to come down a little bit more over the course of this year, that may indeed help uh, push them, uh, some sellers, to say, okay, well, we're going to list because now would be the time to move up and move out and so forth and find something bigger or if uh, you're in an empty nest crowd to downsize. But we shall see. Uh, but needless to say, in the U.S. as a whole, you, uh, the existing home sales grew by 3.1% month over month, okay? And um, let's see, we also, like I said, have falling interest rates. Uh, new listings here in the Lehigh Valley um, increased by 12.3% to 520. So like I said, um, spring market, which we're on the heels of it you may as well say the ne next week will be spring so we are definitely returning to a more vibrant market as far as that's concerned and coupled with those interest rates the lehigh valley is going to have some fun with real estate this year 
all right uh because the last couple years uh 2022 2023 mm, <laughs> but we'll see uh pending sales were down by 2.1 percent um again that will adjust once we get into the full swing of, of spring. And um, now the inventory levels as a whole in comparison to this time last year are down by 11.2%. Um, so although we had a little bit of a boost in listings, um, as I always state in my videos, and your girl's gonna keep stating it, three and a half to four months worth of inventory in order to meet uh, and have a harmonious buyer-seller uh, dynamic going on. Now, prices here in the Lehigh Valley continue to keep on chugging up. Like I said, um, I think that was a little seasonal dip that we experienced in January. However, February did not disappoint. Median sales in uh Median sales price increased, excuse me, your girl is trying to talk too fast here, um, by 7.7% .7 to 323,000. Days on the market was down by 22.6% to 24 days. Remember, I always say anything 30 days and under, sweet. Uh, buyers, they um, definitely are feeling good about returning, like I said, with the interest rates and so forth uh, coming down a little bit, and there being a little bit more inventory. Um, in fact, month supply of inventory went up just a tad bit um, by 11.1% to one month worth of inventory. Um, we're still far off. And like I said, think about this on a nationwide scale uh, for 7.2 million homes short of being on the market, we got a lot of ground to cover in order for uh, a lot of folks to have a house. Uh, so we want to pay attention in the months coming forth as we close out soon, uh, the first quarter of this year and so forth, inventory and uh, those interest rates to see if we can get some kind of a hold on that. Um, and like I said, I really hope that for those folks who are who have been at this for a year or more, that this is definitely their year to win in housing uh, because it is brutal um, on the buyer end of things. I'm sure that those buyers out here who are listening to this video can attest to that, um, that the past four years have not been for the week uh, whatsoever. So that is all the babbling I have. Again, I love to hear from you all. Please let me know um, what other real estate related topics you all would like to hear about. I hope to be back next week with another video. Until then, enjoy this sweet bump of uh, spring weather that we have and have a blessed one. Take care.